Hello, hello. Welcome back to some more Compact Portable 3 disassembly. Just going to be a uh, straightforward taking the thing to bits really. Seeing how far, how deep we can get into this. I'm not sure how complicated it's going to be. Well, here we go, a bit more stuff under here. So the, um, what was this, I wonder, was this the, that was the RGB port was connected to here, and also this ribbon cable, so this must be the graphics card, I guess. Still holding the motherboard because I've disconnected all the drive cables. Yes, that pops out. Oh, that was that was uh, connected at the bottom as well. So, oh, that was that must be the screen. That must be the screen output. The um, that bottom edge connector there must lead to the screen via this fat black wire. So let's have a look at this. Got some Sony chip. What else have we got? Can I read that? M77HD1D maybe? Not sure. It says compact on it. I assume that must be the video chip. Hmm, well that's, that's interesting. It's got its own little form factor and a bit of shielding on it. See if I can free the motherboard. I'm not sure this is going to be any easier now I've removed it. I was kind of hoping it would be, but these cables are pretty tight. Ooh. Well, that one was a bit easier. That's the smaller one, so probably the floppy. <laughs> This is not coming off easily. There we go. Now I can might actually be able to get a grip on this one. Yes. Well, that one wasn't too bad. Right, is this board now free? Still got to remember to remove this lithium battery. Uh, which all looks good on the other side as well, amazingly. <laughs> Don't know how lucky I am with that, but it feels very lucky. Okay, well I guess what I'm really interested in is the power supply, if I'm going to even consider turning this thing on. Six eleven eighty seven. <laughs> Handwritten. Okay, so how does Mr. Power Supply come out? <laughs> with some with some of the mounts for uh, for the motherboard on it. So yes, I have a drive behind the blank panel. So presumably that means you could exchange the hard disk for a a floppy drive maybe, and then the floppy's all the way down the bottom. Uh, man, that hard disk is massive, it's like an inch thick. Huh. 
don't know whether or not I want to take out that whole cage or how difficult it is to take out. There's any screws holding it in right now, so I don't know if it just uh, slides out. Oh, there is this piece of plastic. This piece of plastic looks like it comes off somehow, <laughs> but I'm not exactly sure how. Okay, well maybe I don't need to take this out at the moment. Let's, so you know, I am curious. <laughs> don't want to snap any of the plastic there. I'm not sure how this part comes off exactly. Oh, <laughs> okay, you just wiggle everything a bit. Cool. Oh, and it's it, it's actually that's actually a grill, and it's filthy. Well, I had got got a bit stuck as to how to get things apart because what I hadn't realised was that the screen moves, <laughs> making this thing. Uh, even cooler than before, although it seems like why it seems like a bad angle, right? So it's supposed to do something else. Oh, I see. There we go. Uh, oh yes, okay. So it comes. I thought it was very low down. Yes, so it comes up and angles itself. Oh, cool. Needs a bit of lube, maybe. <laughs> okay, so how do I get it? Apart from here. Hmm. Now oh, there are screws to get the screen off the brackets. Um, and I can get to the top ones. Now there are a bunch of screws along here, so I could open the screen module. Ah, right, yes. <laughs> it looks like this is definitely how you undo the brackets. really don't want to damage the uncovered screen now. Okay, well I think that's enough. Assuming that these four screws are what's holding in the power supply. Now this hasn't been, uh, I've never plugged this in um, and as far as I know it hadn't been plugged in before it was sent to me but even if it had been it would have been quite a few days so should be fairly safe to open up. There are so many screws lying around now. <laughs> Well, there she is, absolutely filthy. Okay, so this power supply looks okay inside, but <laughs> when I tried plugging a cable into it uh, to see if I could test out the voltages, this the, the back of this socket is detached from the front. So I don't know what the wiring behind this is like and whether it can just be pushed back into metal or something. So I'm going to have to open up this little box now <laughs> and see see what state this socket and stuff is in. So uh, let's give that a go. Awesome, so this is a kind of pressed steel thing that cannot be easily opened. <laughs> I'm guessing it might be... I don't know if that's just crimped or whether it's spot welded or soldered or something. There's a couple of rivets there as well. Hmm. 
that's a pain because this is part of the back of the machine and it's got a cool switch on it so it would be a shame if I had to get rid of that I will have a, a think see if I can figure something out okay checked out inside the main socket and you know it's not it's not great but it's not pressing against bare metal or anything uh, when you put the plug in so it should be okay so I'm gonna try plugging this in no load turning it on seeing if it just wants to instantly go bang um, and if not I'll be able to try and figure out what voltages are coming out of what different wires um, haven't found a reference for that yet which would definitely be helpful <laughs> um, because if I'm going to put load across two lines I need to know which ones go together but uh, we can do some better than nothing testing so let's give this a try okay switch is on so I'll turn on at the mains Well, the fan's alive, and it hasn't gone bang yet. Now, yeah, let's give that like a, a minute or so to warm up a bit. So I, in fact, have no pinout. Um, so I guess I'm just going to have to test it. <laughs> now, I've got the board separate, so I figure I might as well plug the board in first and see what happens. There's a red LED on it. Um, I think that all that tells you is that power is going to it, but that would be more useful than nothing before I put everything back together. Oh, that made a funny noise. <laughs> Well, I am not convinced that that power supply is healthy. <laughs> kind of a high-pitched noise, the light came on, went off, and then even after turning it off, another high-pitched noise. Hmm, how am I going to proceed from here? This is going to be a difficult power supply to replace, what with having to power the 200 volts, I believe, for the gas plasma display. So I'm certainly not going to find a single modern power supply <laughs> that I can put inside this, like with the Amigas. Ah, what a pain, I want to play with it, but I don't want to break it. Okay, so the power supply needs a minimum 12 volt load to work. Um, so I've got the drive cage out and plugged that in. So I'll give it one more try and see what happens, because there is no information on the pinout for this thing. Uh, <laughs> so it's going to be difficult to replace this PSU, especially with it needing 200 volts for the gas plasma display. Uh, so, fingers crossed. <laughs> Just don't like that whine noise. Interesting, the light came on, went off, then came on. Uh, I'm going to have to give it a few seconds, aren't I? I don't like this, as you may be able to tell. <laughs> Let's see. Interesting. Okay. So probably some sort of capacitor problem, because it's kind of... <laughs> Coming up and down, up and down, up and down. It's in a cycle. Right, so the power supply is definitely broken. I think I heard a twitch from the drives. I mean, my options are try and refurbish this. And I could just replace all the capacitors, but who knows what else could be either already failing, will fail. <laughs> Or try and figure out the pinouts myself and a combination of modern power supplies that will fit in this box which might not be that hard because the box is huge <laughs> which would be a lot more comfortable but I have no idea if the rest of the system even works at this point 
Um, well, there you know, the LED comes on and the drive does twitch. So I guess there's some life in the board. Well, they're probably, <laughs> probably only telling me that power is getting to the LED and power is getting to the drive, which is probably like a straight through connection. It might not even go through any of the chips. And that is where I left it back on December 27th last year. Desperate to see the thing run, but with no way to do so. I then ordered a whole heaping helping of capacitors to refurbish that power supply, but had a fairly long wait to get all the parts in. So the next compact video will be the results of the power supply work. I've done a li little more shopping in the meantime. Not sure if I'll do an update on that first or not. Um, until next time, happy hobbying out there. Thank you.